News Talk ZB, it is Kerry's Cafe. Many people believe wholeheartedly in the benefits of natural medicine. Tauranga GP Dr Sean Holt is not one of them. Sean Holt's a qualified doctor and a pharmacist. He says there's absolutely no evidence to suggest homeopathy works. Dr Holt joins me now. Good morning to you. Yeah, good morning, Kerry. What is homeopathy? Well, I think this is the thing. Uh, a lot of people just don't know what it is. They think it's sort of nice and natural and, you know, it's been around for many years and it's probably a good thing. But what people re don't realise is that uh, uh, homeopathy is when a substance is diluted and diluted and diluted. So there is literally nothing there. And the homeopaths claim that uh, the water somehow has memory of what was there previously and this somehow works. Uh, so it's all, of course, nonsense. That, and that differs from naturopathy, doesn't it? it? It does. And just to make a slight correction to intro, if you don't mind, um, I mean, I am a supporter of natural products that work. In fact, I've written a book on this uh, that's doing quite well at the moment. So I'm not one of these people who hates everything that's a natural pro product, just the opposite. But homeopathy is different. Um, there's absolutely no evidence that it works. And of course, it's not plausible in the slightest. How does it differ from naturopathy? Well, they, they use actual ingredients. <laughs> You know, there's actual product there, whereas homeopathy, it's all diluted away, so there is nothing there. You recently surveyed 124 patients in GP surgeries yep. and found that 65% had used homeopathic products. If it doesn't work, why are so many people using it? Well, this is right, and it, it was fascinating. Not only did a lot of people use it, but just about everyone who used it thought that it worked. Uh, and it's fascinating. So how can I say, uh, you know, categorically that it doesn't work? Well, there are two reasons. I think we all know what the uh, placebo effect is. This is when you take something and, uh, and, and you feel better afterwards, and it's sort of a mind-over-body reaction. Um, so we know about the placebo effect. But the more important one, I think, that people often forget is what we call the natural history. Mm -hmm. So say you had a migraine and you tried some homeopathy for a migraine and it got better. You'd say, well, the homeopathy is working. But what happens in those cases, it's just the natural history. It's the, d the disease or the illness getting better on its own, which is usually the case. So when people think homeopathy works, it's a combination of placebo and natural history. And that's where you put it, when you put it in a good clinical trial, a clinical trial removes both of those elements, and that's why it fails every single time. But GPs are referring patients to homeopaths, aren't well, they? Well, they are. Around one in eight uh, GPs in New Zealand refer patients to homeopaths. Uh, I suspect it's often for patients or conditions that there's not much more they can do and they want to be seen to be doing something at least. And, uh, but I, I just don't think that's right because it's totally unscientific. There's lots of other natural things we can try or, or good other practitioners we can refer to. And in fact, I have a paper in the New Zealand Medical Journal coming out this week calling for my GP uh, colleagues not to refer patients to homeopaths. Perhaps they do believe in the power of the mind to heal itself and you know, they, they might understand that there is nothing actually um, clinical about homeopathic remedies, yeah. but they, if maybe it's holistic GPing. They see that their patient may have the power of the willpower to heal themselves if they believe that what they're taking will help them. That's right, and, uh, and, and so any benefits are from placebo. Now, at the same time, I've been a bit busy recently. I've got a paper coming out um, very shortly looking at the number of doctors who prescribe placebos in any form, mm -hmm. uh, and I, I, I'm not allowed to tell, I'll tell you too much before it's published, but I'll tell you it's very, very high. Mm -hmm. So doctors certainly recognize the power of placebos, and it's just how we use them, and there's many ways of doing that. You know, doctors can give, for example, vitamin supplements and mm -hmm. tell patients that it's a good medicine for them, if they generally believe that a uh, placebo is going to help. But I think referring to homeopaths is different. Homeo homeopathy is anti-science. It makes no sense. I use the analogy, it's like putting a cup of coffee in Lake Taupo, going back a week later and taking a cup of water from there. You know, there's going to be no coffee in there or even one molecule at most. Uh, to say that it's dilute coffee is just not true, but that's what homeopathy claims. So why do so many people believe it? Well, because, as I say, if, if, if for example, a person uh, has a migraine, goes to a homeopath, takes the stuff and gets better, you'll never convince that person that the homeopathy wasn't responsible. Uh, that's the way we're wired. So people do believe it, but unfortunately it's, it's wrong. But and why would people go to a homeopath in the first place? I mean, that happens once you start taking the, the, the medicine and there might be that kind of um, yeah. congruence of, of events. But when you've got... Um, why would people bother going to a homeopath in the first, first place? Is it word of mouth? Have they yeah, just it's, it's word place? of mouth. Is and, it anti-medicine, you know, anti-conventional medicine? Yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of distrust of, of medicine. You know, it's a whole big issue why people turn into the alternative world. 
And I think in some ways it's a good thing. There's many, many products there and, and treatments that are very good indeed. And homeopathy is just sort of linked in there. The practitioners are very, very nice people. They'll spend an hour, an hour and a half listening to you, you know, and uh, they're, they're really, compared to a conventional GP, who might have five minutes if you're lucky because they're so busy. They've got a waiting room full. So it's, just, it's definitely a very nice experience. And other friends and colleagues will report good results. But unfortunately, at the end of the day, it, it is nonsense and doesn't work. Ten years ago, according to the New Zealand Council of Homeopaths, there were 11 homeopaths registered in New Zealand. Yeah. Now there are 150. Yeah, I mean, that's very, very disturbing for me. You know, it, it'd be like if you said to me there were 11 witches and now practicing medicine, now there's 150 witches. I rate homeopathy with witchcraft. Uh, it, it is, it is that, that, that crazy. Does it matter, though? If people are getting better, does it matter how or why they do? Um, well, I guess in some ways, no. I mean, I certainly don't want to ban it or regulate it. That's what most people would say. But I'm very much a libertarian. I think people can do whatever they want. But what I'm interested in is educating people. And uh, sure, if people want placebo effects or natural treatments, there are better things uh, that people can do. Um, but my worry is that by going uh, to, to things like homeopathy, where there's absolutely no science and it, it makes no sense whatsoever, we're regressing back into you know, the dark ages of mysticism, whereby I think we should be embracing modern medicine and research. Do you think homeopaths, although you're not in favour of you know, banning them, do you think they should be regulated in terms of having a medical licence or having to um, have the same sort of laws and code of conduct as GPs have to? Um, well, I think they're probably covered by health practitioners' laws. But, I mean, and there are some sort of real sort of uh, ropey degrees in, in the UK, for example, or, or diplomas in homeopathy. But, I mean, how do, you, how do you teach or have exams in something that's just not true? It's like having a, you know, it's like having a diploma in unicorn studies. It's just crazy. So, no, I mean, what I see my role as is, is to educate people. And virtually no one in our survey realised that homeopathic products have nothing in there. And so I think if I get that message out, people realise, and like your opening question, you know, how is it different to, to naturopathy? Um, but it, it's very, very different. You know, mm -hmm. We're talking about product being uh, available or, or not. To give you one example, um, people swear by Arnica uh, homeopathy preparations, but then when you tell them, and then the label of the product says Arnica on it. <laughs> so not uh, unreasonably, people think there's Arnica in there, but there's none in there. I think that's very misleading. Wow. Is there anything that conventional medicine can learn from the success of um, homeopathy? Oh, absolutely. And I say, even though I'm the biggest critic of homeopaths, I think the way they take the time and, and, and look at the whole patient uh, and um, I say an hour, an hour and a half consultation, asking them everything about them, and the way they treat the patients, I think, is excellent. Um, doctors uh, could learn a lot from that. It's not done on purpose, of course. It's the medical system that we live in. But I think you're right. There are some lessons to be learned there. And your book, Natural Remedies That Really Work, is out now. Is still out now, isn't it? Yeah, it's been out for a year, and it was in the, the top three uh, of, of the health books recently. So, you know, I'm, I say I'm not a, not a critic. In fact, just the opposite. I'm, I'm out there saying that a lot of good natural products uh, you know, fish oil, probiotics, vitamin D are great for a multitude of conditions. Uh, even acupuncture, I would say, works for some things, even though we don't know how that works and makes no sense, but the research shows that it does work. Uh, but homeopathy is a whole different ballpark. You know, it's the emperor's new clothes. There is nothing there. Dr. Sean Holt, I thank you very much for your time this morning. Over to you now, 0800 80 10 80. If you have tried homeopathic treatments, do you... Um, disagree with Dr. Holt or do you think it purely was down to a placebo effect? If there are any homeopaths around and awake at 9.25, feel free to defend your um, chosen career. 0800 80 10 80 is the number to call. News Talk ZB, it 